Guys, I'm going to talk about the three most dangerous symptoms of high blood pressure. Guys, high blood pressure is something not to be taken lightly ever, especially if you have any of these three symptoms. I'm going to be talking about these symptoms that you have to go to the ER for. You just cannot stay home. You cannot just say, okay, let me see what is going to happen. Let me wait it out. No, these three symptoms, you're not going to be able to wait out on these three symptoms. Now, let's getting... Let's just get to the point. Number one is going to be the chest pain. It's going to be chest pain. So what happens in chest pain? Chest pain that can be cardiac in nature is normally left-sided. It is normally squeezing tight and it may even radiate to your neck, to your upper extremity, uh, to your left upper extremity. Now this could be fairly serious. This normally happens if your blood pressure goes beyond a certain uh, limit and everybody's limit is, is a slight, is slightly little different. So if your blood pressure is high, you are having chest pain, do not take it lightly, go to the emergency department, call the EMS, that is actually a good idea as well. Because it could just be that you are having a heart attack. High blood pressure, if not controlled, can lead to heart attack. So you have to be very, very careful. Now guys, again, chest pain can be of various types. It could be epigastric pain. It could be GERD-like pain. It could be acidity. It could be musculoskeletal. But if you're having a high blood pressure and you're having this typical type of left-sided chest pain, tightness, achiness in your chest, then it could be something really serious. Don't take this lightly and go to the ER because they will check you out. They will check an EKG. They, can, they will check some cardiac markers and see what it actually is. All right. So, Next point I'm going to get to, next uh, blood pressure symptom is actually going to be headache. People think that headache, okay, just take a towel on, it's fine. But sometimes if your blood pressure is also high, then headache could mean something significant. Because if you look over here, I just have this picture over here. If you have a really, really bad headache, it could be other matters related with high blood pressure. It could be a stroke. It could be some type of bleed. Although these are rare, if your blood pressure is fairly high, you should definitely get this checked up and this is not to be taken lightly again sometimes you may even have a tingling and numbness sensation in your hands and feet sometimes you may have slurred speech a lot of people with the headache can get confusion as well so if your blood pressure is high it is not controlled it is 170 over let's say 100 or more than 200 then you better get it checked take your blood pressure pills if you have missed any of your blood pressure pills but get your blood pressure checked because a high blood pressure could lead to other problems like i said a stroke possibly or even bleeding in the brain so don't take any of this uh, lightly i do have another video where i have been talking about blood pressure the symptoms that are are the that are definitely are the ordinary but people think they may be just regular blood pressure uh, and regular symptoms but those in that video I actually have 10 I actually have 10 symptoms of high blood pressure so do do check that video out number three is going to be shortness of breath if your blood pressure is high if your blood pressure is high you can develop shortness of breath as well now what happens when your blood pressure is high you have pressure in your heart you have pressure in your brain and you can have pressure in your lungs as well. I'm going to show you this picture over here, this x-ray over here. What you are seeing in this picture, this is not a normal x-ray because you have a lot of fuzziness over here. What is this fuzziness, my friends? This fuzziness is actually fluid. When you have pressure in the lungs, then fluid tends to leak out into your alveoli, your air sacs in your lung, and this could lead to severe <laughs> problems. So I don't want any of my viewers, if you have high blood pressure issues, uh, take things seriously. Don't take things lightly. Now I have a question from Rukaya. What is systolic and diastolic pressure? So systolic blood pressure is the upper value. Normally there is the upper value. Um, and the lower uh, is the diastolic blood pressure. Now, I'm going to actually have uh, show this to you guys in this chart right over here um, regards to high blood pressure. So, a normal blood pressure is less than 120. This is the systolic. This is the upper, upper uh, level of normal. This is the systolic blood pressure. And a normal diastolic, meaning the lower blood pressure is less than 80. Now, if you go beyond this, if you go beyond 120 with the systolic blood pressure and go beyond 80 of the diastolic blood pressure, any of that is elevated. If you go much further beyond, you have stage 1 hypertension 
or stage 2 hypertension or a hypertensive crisis which is if you have a systolic blood pressure of greater than 180 or your diastolic blood pressure is greater than 120. Now anyways that is a quick rundown of some of the severe symptoms that you can have with high blood pressure and you should not be missing these uh, symptoms. You should not be missing chest pain if you are a blood pressure patient. Of course, you have to try to control your blood pressure, but if you're having chest pain with high blood pressure, then that is a cause of concern. Don't take it lightly. If you're having a severe headache, bad headache, that that could be something a little more serious. Talk to your doctor or go to the emergency department. Or you are having shortness of breath, and if you have a pulse ox, sometimes you can check and you can actually see that your oxygen level is low. Even then, if you're really having some chest pain as well as some shortness of breath. Both of these things combined, it is not a good sign. Seek some help. Talk to your doctor. Call the EMS. But of course, make sure you get help as soon as possible. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, but if you want some more help and you want to know about the whole meal plan for what a high blood pressure person should be enjoying, I have a whole meal plan divided over one month's time, divided into individual weeks, and with the recipes, as well as the cooking instructions that you don't have to worry about when you go to the grocery store and you have all the ingredients for that particular week, week one, week two, week three. And this can be a helpful guide for you to eat healthy. And hopefully this will supplement and complement your exercises that you are doing. So you can check this out in the description. It's uh, free for you to use. Anyways, I'm Dr. Khan. This is what I talk about, naturally curing blood pressure. Uh, you like this? then stick around, subscribe to the channel and watch this video. I believe you will definitely like this for helping control your blood pressure as well. Thank you so much. Bye bye.